Okay, so you have probably noticed that you can't work as a city guard and do arena fights at the same time, at least as long as you don't have the mirror unlocked. More on that later. And you are wondering, what's the better option? What should I do? Today, I will be answering that question for you. First, let's face it, they both have their advantages and disadvantages, but definitely one of them has to be superior to the other. For now, I will discuss with you about the pros and cons of both Arena and City Guard, and later on, I will tell you which one I think is better so you can have a better head start and completely destroy the competition. Okay, so let's first start with the City Guard. City Guard has a clear pro, and that's it generates gold. Now you are probably thinking that in low levels the gold isn't worth it, but you would be wrong. Considering that your skills also cost a very low amount with extra gold, you will have a decent advantage from other players in the lower dungeons, which means you will also get ahead in levels. Although that's really the only benefit from the seed card. It might sound good, but if you check out the cons, you might change your mind. So basically, you put to work for 10 hours and you cancel it in the 9th, you don't get any. And the other con is that you also cannot attack on dungeons while working. Now time to talk about the arena. Okay, so the arena has a lot more benefits than the city guard. One, you can get a better place in the hall of fame. Two, you can also farm for missing items in the scrapbook to get a better XP multiplier from tavern quest. Three, you also get some gold. Not as much as in the city guard most likely, but it's still something. Okay, so after seeing the pros, you might have already decided on which one is better. But Arena also has some cons. So the thing is that it's really RNG dependent. Yes, I said that you could gain gold, Hall of Fame spots, and scrapbook entries, but in reality, you might also not get any of that. You might lose fights and end up not only not getting the scrapbook entries, but also losing Hall of Fame spots and gold instead of gaining. After watching to this part, you might have already decided on which one is better. But here are my thoughts on it. Okay, so basically I would recommend going with the arena for most of the time. Yes, you might lose some gold and hall of fame spots, but that's only if you are not careful. If you pick your opponents carefully, you should be gaining stuff most of the time. The city guard should only really be used when you are about to go to sleep and you can't really attack on arena but you might get screwed if you wake up earlier than expected. Now let's get back to something that I said in the beginning. Let's talk about the mirror. Ok, so when you get the mirror, everything changes. To get the mirror, you have to find 13 individual pieces through questing. There is a small chance of getting one after you get to level 50. When you finally find the 13 pieces and you complete the mirror, which usually takes 2-3 to three weeks, you can basically do city card and arena fights at the same time. Same with questing and doing arena fights. But anyways, that's basically it for this video. If it helped you at all, make sure to subscribe and like for more guides and gameplay videos. If you enjoyed, make sure to also check out my previous video where I basically started off my journey as a semi free to play player. Bye!